This year full of catastrophe and affliction has driven many Black women in Baltimore to a point of exhaustion and anxiety that has left them feeling completely free. Black women are the core of the nation's economy, holding the frontline jobs and running small businesses, and they are more often the single heads of households in their communities. Because of stats like that, it's easy to deduce that Black women in Baltimore are always being worn thin. Communities in Baltimore rely on Black women. Communities in every city rely on Black women, especially to make change. All Black women are change makers. This means all Black women are exhausted. I'm a Black woman. I know. My name is Alana Nicole Davis, and I'm about to lock in as a Master of Art in Social Design at NICA. In my capstone work, I set out to find out what we can do in Baltimore about these patterns of burnout in Black women. What I found were common denominators like stress and burnout from parenting, work, school, community work, church boards, ministries, bake sales, Black men and women dying, I mean being murdered, being jailed, financial deficits both in and out of the home, microaggressions, racism, colorism, the news, COVID-19, high blood pressure, dating, trying to eat healthily, housing insecurity, running their own businesses, and paying for Baltimore City parking tickets. It's all really taking its toll. Couldn't read or process that? Well, that's how Black women feel daily. It's time to stop mythologizing Black women trying to survive in a world that doesn't value them. We don't need data to support this. It's just a fact. But since y'all need data to believe us, Work Exposures in Health says that women are more likely to experience burnout from work than men because, shocking, they have less authority in the workplace. In 2010, research professor Arlene T. Geronimus published a paper stating that Black people in the United States may be biologically older than whites of the same chronological age due to the cumulative impact of repeated exposure to and high effort coping with stressors. I asked 99 Black women in Baltimore how we might put an end to these patterns of burnout. The overwhelming response was nostalgia. In a New York Times article published in 2020, clinical psychologist Valentina Stoicheva says that in times of trauma and overwhelming stress, it's a natural instinct to feel nostalgic and rely on those feelings for comfort and a sense of normalcy. How might we use nostalgia as a tool for healing in Baltimore to thwart patterns of burnout in Black women who serve as change makers, which is all Black women. Yes, all Black women. One city defines the state of a cold country. 8.50 the night devours the day hungry. Provide a life for free to proceed from the rises up. One fifth the club hoppers rocking.